Forget about the prenup. That's for when couples divorce. How about signing a contract about how you'll act while you're still together? Married for a little over a year. I love to travel, and I have told her this. I think if we had this in writing, this would have been great. Yeah. Um, if you, I, I said this before a million times, just if she can plan it, I'll go on them. I just don't like being involved in the planning, so. Years ago. We were married in uh, June 30th of 97, so it's been two years. 2007. 2007. <laughs> what team we would raise our kids to right. be fans of, because we actually do <clears throat> sort of argue about that. Right. <laughs> He's under the impression Red that Sox they fans. will be Red Sox fans, yeah. but I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Especially being a New Yorker. <laughs> Serious uh -oh. stuff. Joining us now is Judge Lynn Toller. Her new book is called Put It in Writing, Creating Agreements Between Family and Friends. And she's with us live in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm really good. Good. I'm really good. I want to do a little background on you. You were okay. married once. You got married again? Do I get this no. wrong? No. I've been Who's one time 20 one years. One time 20 years. Husband was married before. Oh. He had four kids when oh. I married him. Okay, I got it. There I got it go. now. Right. So you marry into this family. Right. Right. And suddenly you find yourself doing what? A whole lot more chores than I thought I was going to do. Right. Then that's part of why I'm thinking you should put things in writing because we talked generally about things, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, General doesn't clean a toilet, and that's <laughs> what I ended up doing. And I, I uh, Deborah Hutchison, who had an idea about putting things in writing, she billed her ex to take the emotion out of it. If he got a bill just like he did from AT&T, mm -hmm. from her, right. he took the emotion out of it and she got the money. Ah. So we had the idea of putting agreements in writing mm -hmm. Not to ruin a relationship. If I'm going to lend you money, I want to know when I'm getting it back. Okay. So I'm going to put it in writing. But little things like, you know, while you're dating and engaged and it's all romantic, who's going to think of putting in writing, you will not make me clean toilets for your children? No one. That's why we wrote the book. <laughs> you, you see, they, but How could love you possibly all, think of everything? You, and you can't. And that's not what it's for. When you promise someone, and, and the, the marriage agreement isn't in there. It's on our website because it, it, it's a bigger one in it and it's more complicated, you talk about the idea of things. And for, for instance, you put down in writing what your relationship to money is. Mm. My husband's relationship, he wants to enjoy and fund the money. Mm. I want to see it in the bank. <laughs> now, you have to decide you who's to going that, to right? do, yes, yeah. because he thinks I'm depriving him of his happy. I think he's depriving me of my safe. Of your so peace we, of mind, yeah. yeah. So we say, look, okay, here's the general fund money. This is this money. You don't mess with mine, I don't mess with yours, because that's what works for the two of us. Hmm. And that we had to agree upon. Do you think people, you could save people's marriages on the front side if you got people to sit down and actually write these things down before they even go as far as to say, honey, will you marry me? Absolutely, because it makes you have the conversation. On divorce court, when I talk to people, I, I, sometimes I say, have you two met? I mean, what, right. what, what was he doing beforehand, and what did you think the ring was going to change? Right. And we women, we got to put our hands, we think we get the ring, it's everything is cool, that's the goal. But that's when the work starts. So if you talk about how you want to live, do you want to be a stay-at-home mom? What, how big is your career going to be? Mm -hmm. Do you want to live in the country? Do you want to work a lot? Do you want to stay at home? It, there's a lot of things that you have to talk right. about. And the last and most important thing which we didn't talk about, my husband and I. We went to a marriage council before we got married. Yeah. But uh, oddities, idiosyncrasies, and expectations. I was odd, he was idiosyncratic, and it really messed up all of our expectations. I thought you were going to say he was an idiot. Yeah. No, no, me too. No, I don't have a key to the house. I need to get back in when I go home. So I, and he's watching, so I have to be careful. But I, would, I needed a lot of privacy, so mm -hmm. I had my own bedroom. Yeah. Uh, Shared his most of the time, but every once in a while, sure. mama needed a little space. space. She had somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. And you have to include that in your understanding. He was insulted the first time I did that. But, mm -hmm. but then you, you explain need, it. You explain it. You right. understand it. He said, that has nothing to do with how she feels about me. It's a need that she has. Right. And by the way, it gives the other person the opportunity to say, I can't live with that, so bye-bye. Right, right. right. It, you, you know, and, and it's stressors and all of these kind of mm -hmm. things. So if you talk about the little things and the big picture and how do you want a day to run? 
do, 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 at the end of the day, do you want to come home and go out? Mm -hmm. you're, you're tired or what, what? How is your life going to look? Right. And if you have that conversation, you get out in front of a lot of problems. Wow. See, you, people get that engagement ring, right? Mm -hmm. Weird things happen, mm -hmm. right? All of a sudden, sure. right? It's all rainbows and happiness. The ring and, doesn't yeah. change a thing. I, I remember the, the movie Waiting to Exhale. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, you find a man and you exhale. I said, you can't exhale then. That's when all the work starts. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? You Back exhale once you got him trained and the kid's out. It's, it's, then you can it's exhale. work. It's a process. All what right, a pleasure. Jason Toller, thank you so much. Thank you. To read an excerpt from the book, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.